we already showed you how to make the owie ointment. Um, that was with the beeswax where you take the herbal oil and you make it thicker. And this is what it looks like when it's all nice and ready. This is amazing stuff. I used some today. A little spider bite and uh, made a, a plantain poultice for that. And then I also put some of this on. But I also used the antiseptic wash which we're going to show you how to make at this time. Um, the three tinctures that are in here, we just made the Lobelia one, and that was all of this filtered. The antiseptic wash is the next one. So, this has been tincturing for quite a while, and the antiseptic wash has a beautiful recipe that we have in our notes for all of the students. And this is four parts of myrrh gum. This is all in Everclear. It is um, in Everclear because myrrh is a resin. And a resin or gums or um, even something like a wax, like beeswax, if you were to dissolve it, it needs Everclear in order to do that. That's a 90 proof, uh, which is 95% alcohol. It's one of the strongest you can get. And so four parts myrgum, one part white oak bark, one part plantain, one part comfrey, one part yarrow, one part golden seal, one part fresh garlic all chopped up, and one eighth part of cayenne pepper. And then it has essential oils of our choice, and, and we put many different essential oils in there. So, this just needs to be filtered this time to make the antiseptic wash. Look at how strong of a color that is. It's very dark. There's a lot of medicine that's extracted into this. Everclear is very, very efficient. It's amazing stuff. And this is another thing that you want to take some time uh, with either an herbal press or, you know, just to get some extra out because this is the priceless formula. It is, you want to be able to use every, every little bit of it. So be sure to take some time to do that. But voila, you have the antiseptic wash. And it's a good idea to put them in little amber bottles and always label it. Uh, and you can carry that around everywhere with you. This stores indefinitely. It's in Everclear. Ain't nothing going to grow in that. It's quite awesome stuff. And what you use it for is to wash wounds. And uh, for me, I had a spider bite today. Didn't know if it was a poisonous one or not. And with all the plantain and the other good things in it, I made sure that that was very well soaked in it. Um, it also helps to stop bleeding a little bit because it has some cayenne in it. So, there you go. Antiseptic wash, the second one.